Hello Booktube, my name is Becca and welcome to day seven, the last day of Booktube-a-thon. I am so, I don't know, I feel really sad, but I also feel really happy because of my accomplishments, but yeah, it's the last day of this readathon, and for me, this readathon has has been like a big thing because it's proven that I can make and film a video in one day, um, especially when the editing gets very, very complicated. Remember my day three? And I can also read books in a day and kind of got me into reading again, so that was a great thing. So I'm going to start with my status update for yesterday. Okay, I watched, um, since I had already read the, the Giver before I did my video for yesterday, you knew I read that. So I watched the movie, The Giver. Uh, 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 the movie was so bad. I watched it the entire time. I'm like, what is going on? So the movie was pretty dang bad. And I'm probably going to make a video about The Giver book and The Giver movie, so I'm not really going to go into it. But it was just really bad. And then I realized I made a big mistake. <laughs> So I completely forgot about the challenge to read a book by your favorite author. I was counting my books wrong and somehow I forgot about it. I was supposed to read Writers by Veronica Rossi and then I remember I was laying in my bed last night staring at my bookshelves as, as readers do and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot about Writers. And I'm like, how did I forget about Writers? I've been reading a book a day. And then I remembered there was one day I only read half of The Siren. So I forgot about this book and then I was like, Okay, it's like midnight right now, and I have tomorrow, but if I'm going to read anything tomorrow, it's going to be Illuminae, so I don't have time to read this book. Like, I literally do not have time. So, I had to fix my TBR a little bit. I had to choose a different book, a much smaller book, to read by one of my favorite authors. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am in love with Fairy Tale by Hiro Mashima. I don't have any of the manga but I have a Natsu figurine here, and I read the manga every day as it comes out. So I'm like, forget that. I'm going to find out what chapters are in the first um, volume of Rave Master, which, is what, which was, I believe was his first series. And I'm going to read it. So I did that, and I read the first three chapters of that, which is the first volume. And they were really long. Like, the first chapter was like 70 pages, and chapters are normally... His fairy tale chapters have been like 20, 30, so it was a lot. It's actually better than I expected, though. But so, anyway... I read a book for that challenge, so now all today I have to do is finish Illuminae, which I'm not sure if I'm going to do because I'm not even on page 200 and there's like 599 pages of that book. And I don't, I want to read it, but I don't really feel like I want to rush through it. So, but I'll be happy if I, even if I don't finish it, um, I think I've done really good for Booktubeathon this week. So that's my status update. The challenge for today was to tell the story of a novel using book covers. Um, the the example Ariel gave was like, um, she had Harry Potter and she told it with like different covers. So here is my challenge and I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you later. Goodbye. So I'm going to tell you the story of Maximum Ride by James Patterson. It's about a group of kids. You see the kids? The kids. That have wings. And also powers. Who are on the run from the school. You see the school? It was filled with like evil people. These are pretty evil people. The main weapon, you see Selena's weapons there, that the school uses are some sort of dog, human, hybrid. This is a dog. And Chloe is some hybrid human thing. I watched this show so long ago, I don't even remember what she was. But she wasn't completely human. I know that. Or she was a race. And I don't know. But she was a hybrid of sorts. And they also have wings. Oh yeah, and the kids have a talking dog who also has wings. It's a story about survival. Percy's trying to survive in this, in this cover, right? He's trying not to fall off of Blackjack. And not get shot out of the sky by Zeus's lightning. It's a story about love. They're so in love. It's a story about friendship. And it's just pretty dang awesome. Like this cover. Have you seen it before? You probably have seen it before, but it's just pretty dang awesome. That was my retelling of Maximum Ride by Book.
covers it worked out for the most part i think yeah if you haven't read the series i definitely recommend it it's so good just don't read forever it's, mm, mm -mm. don't don't read that anyway that was my challenge so that's it for booktubeathon for me i had a lot of fun this this week and i'm kind of sad to see it go because it's been a great experience for me i am definitely gonna do this next year it was just the best thing ever and yeah even if i don't win anything that's perfectly fine with me it's just it was a good experience so i will see you all in my next video whenever that may be so until next time goodbye